Five state representatives, including one from Center County, have introduced a bill aiming to protect fairness in women's sports. And lawmakers say the legislation is designed to stop discrimination and create equal athletic opportunities for women. Our Peyton Kennedy joins us live from Center County with more on how this would impact our federally funded schools. So Peyton, what's this bill in response to? Well, Matt Maggie, the women spoke out against a bill that was proposed in February that would permit biological males to compete on women's sports teams in high school and college. Five female representatives from Pennsylvania say allowing biological males to compete in biological female sports reverses 50 years of advances for women. It's well documented that in the development of our youth, an all-girls environment for girls gives women the opportunity to build confidence in a safe and empowering environment. Today, they introduced the Fairness in Women's Sports Act, a bill they say will protect Title IX and promote gender equality by giving biological females a fair playing field. During a press conference, Representative Stephanie Burowicz recalled on playing high school volleyball and winning MVP for her achievements. And I probably wouldn't have had that opportunity if a biological male would have been in that tournament. They say testosterone levels are higher in males, even after hormone blockers, presenting an unfair advantage. Now, no matter how hard my daughter trains or how hard she tries, there is nothing she can do to overcome the biological advantages of men. And they say it will take away from the limited female teams available. What about the biological girls who will never even have the opportunity to compete? As the finite openings on women's teams are consumed by bi biological boys, we are robbing them of much more than a ribbon. Pennsylvania is one of a majority of states that have now introduced or passed legislation that would ensure equal rights for women in sports. In State College, Peyton Kennedy, WTAJ News.